it's very weird to find out years later after the fact that the Bishop of Sheffield at the time that I was there, at the time that I went through conversion therapy and at the time that I was kicked out of the church for um, holding the view that LGBT people should be able to date and have relationships and, and still be Christians and still be church leaders, also held those same views. The bishop held those views, but he held them silently. Um, and while I was speaking out publicly about them um, and losing my church family, losing my position and, and ultimately losing everything that I held dear in Sheffield, um, he held the same views, but privately. It's very weird. It's very strange. Um, and it makes me feel like... I've, I've said this before, that when I see bishops dressed in pink, I think they... or red, I think they... Have, uh, are wearing clothes that are dipped in the blood of the people who have survived or not survived um, the church and spiritual abuse. And it's weird seeing um, Stephen Croft's picture where he's often pictured in a pink shirt and I often think to myself, how much blood was shed in your diocese? The blood of LGBT people before you chose to speak up.